fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. The famous masked rider of justice urges the great horse Silver down a new trail of the Old West to bring us a stirring adventure story of the pioneer days. Listen to those silver shod hoofs as they race down the hard packed roadbeds of yesteryear. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver, old boy. That's it, old fellow. It will be dark before we meet Tato if we don't hurry. Hello, Silver. Shortly after nightfall, the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, were riding toward the town of Osage when the glow of a burning building caught their attention. They immediately urged their mounts in the direction of the flames, hoping to be of help. We see them as they arrive at the scene of the fire. Oh, 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 boy. oh my God. Oh. We seem to be the first ones here, Tonto. Come on. We'll go inside. Might be someone trapped there. Oh, no, you won't. There, fella, ain't you? I'm a horn and a rifle on you. Who are you? I'm the owner of this house, that's who. Is there anyone inside there now? No. And where are the others? We're safe in town. Now, mind your own business. Right get... now, my business is to say what we can from that fire. I told you to keep out of there. Do you want everything you own to be destroyed? Ain't none of your affair. Now, keep back or I'll start shooting. I don't want nothing to be saved. Why not? If I want my house to burn, by ginger, it'll burn. I'll stand for an outlaw interference. No, I'm not an outlaw. You're wearing a mask. That's what I'm going by. But if you know what's good for you, you'll get away from here pronto. No, I'm not convinced that this house is yours. I'll lower that rifle. Because I'm going inside before it's too late. I'll shoot you. Get him, Tonto. Oh, me get him now. You That's keep him still. Rope him, Tonto. We can't take any chances on his getting loose. Let me fix him, him. Let me be. Let me go, I tell you. Let me go. I'll think about letting you go when I've examined that house. Him crazy. But Tonto, fix him. I'll get this rope on him. Bless you. This will hold him. Don't hurt him. Ain't nothing worth saving. Let me loose. Get you for this hand, get you. Watch him, Tonto. I'll take a look inside the house. Think I'm loco, don't you? Well, I strap these ropes. Will you keep them still, rope, not hurt. I'm warning you, as sure as my name is Zeke Salters. When I get these ropes off, I'll show you. I'll learn you two hombres. Ain't nothing in that house. Nothing. You won't find anything in there, I tell you. Oh, we find out.
While the Lone Ranger was making a hurried inspection of the burning house, Nancy Randall, Zeke Salter's ward, was unaware of what had happened. She was in town as guest of the Widow Stevens, and we see her on the veranda with Dick, Mrs. Stevens' son. Then you leave for your home by the ocean. Will you let your poor darling go too? Or will you leave her alone, unprotected, when you know that she loves only you? <laughs> there now, Dick Stevens, I'm not going to sing another thing tonight. Oh, gosh, Nancy. I could spend the rest of my life listening to you sing. I wish you would come to visit more and more often. I was awful surprised when Uncle Zeke let me come this time. He isn't your real uncle, is he? No, he sort of adopted me when my folks were killed by Injun. Yeah, that's what I thought. I wonder what he's got against me, Nancy. What? Why, nothing, Dick. What makes you think Oh, that he... yes, he has. You know, this is the first time in months I've had a chance to speak to you without him sitting a couple of yards away. Oh, silly. Well, it's the truth. Nancy, this is the first time you've been away from your house for more than half an hour for the past three weeks. I know, but oh, I suppose you can't blame Uncle Zeke for it. He feels it's his duty to take proper care of me. Well, that don't say he's got to make a prisoner of you. Oh, he don't do no such thing. He's been mighty good to me all these years. Sure he has. While he's had charge of all your money. Well, he has to account for it all. Wonder if he'll be able to. What do you mean? Just that. You're coming of age pretty soon now, ain't you? Uh-huh. And when you do, according to your father's will, you'll come into all that money yourself. I wonder if you will, or if Zeke will Dick be... Dick Stevens, you can't hint such things about Uncle Zeke. Oh, he ain't bad when you get to know him. Well, he ain't very easy to get acquainted with. He's the most unfriendly man I ever knew. Oh, he is not. It was him suggested I come over here to visit your ma. He did? Yes, he did. Told me to stay just as long as I was having a good time. <laughs> that is, unless I wore out my welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no chance of that happening. I say, look over yonder. Where? See, over towards your place. There's a glow over there. Looks like it might be a fire. But well, sakes alive, I, I wonder if it. Dick, I wonder if it is Uncle Zeke's house. Well, I'll go get some horses. We'll ride over that way and find out. Hi, Dick. Dick Stevens, where are you? Here, Sheriff. Come on, we're riding over towards the south. Looks to be a fire over there. Maybe it's Uncle Zeke. It looks to be. Never mind your horse. Lem Purdy's bringing up his buckboard. You can ride on that. I'm a-going, too. There's be plenty of room. Well, come on, Nancy. Now, pull up there, Lem. Dick and Nancy are riding with you. Go there. Go, 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 go. Come on, Dick. Get aboard. Get aboard, Nancy. Looks like your uncle's place is going up in smoke. I'm a getting aboard. Uh, here, Nancy, I'll, I'll give you a hand. There. I'm ready. Let her go, Lem. Let her up them horses. Get up there. Get along there. Come on, get up. Get up. Dick and Nancy raced toward the burning house in the wagon while the others rode ahead. They soon discovered that the flaming building was beyond saving. And as they came nearer, they heard Zeke shouting. Help! Help me! Over here! Over here! Oh, 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 oh. Where are you, Zeke? Over here! Over there the well! I'm rolling! Give me a hand! Rope! There he is! I see him, Dick! I'll go get him! Yeah, I, I got a knife here. Just a second now. There. Your hands are free. No waste time in talking. You, you ain't hurt, are you, Uncle Zeke? Who done it, Zeke? Now you're loose. Who oh, tied you up? What happened? Oh, blasted robbers. The rope men left me here. Robbers? The same two that set fire to the house. The lucky thing you was in old sage, Nancy. Well, let me help you to your feet. Why? Just wait till I catch up with them, too. Your house is done for, Zeke. Uh, gone. Nancy, 
My home and yours. Burnt by a pair of thieving coyotes. Well, who were they? Huh? I don't know. I rode in here and held me up at the point of the guns. We didn't have anything in the house worth stealing, did we? No, but likely figured your money was in there. But it isn't. It's all invested. I was so cussed and mad about not getting anything. But they tied me and threw me by the well and then set fire at our house. You didn't know it, huh? Uh, nope. There were strangers around these parts, but, but I don't know them if I ever see them again. What'd they look like? Well, one of them was tall and rode a white horse. He wore a mask. Mask, huh? Yeah. The other one was an Indian. Oh. Can't be far from here. We'll organize a posse and hunt them. And when we locate them, they'll pay a plenty for what they've done. Good. Right. Let's get going. I'll ride to town with you, Stevens. We'll get some more men. Nancy, you better stay with Mrs. Stevens for a time. Yes, Uncle Stevens. Let's get going. Get aboard my wagon. I'll take you. Come on. Get aboard. Several days passed. During the interval, the Lone Ranger had made a number of trips to town, investigating the strange behavior of Zeke Salters. We see him now in the well-concealed camp he shares with Tonto, discussing the situation with his companion. Everyone's looking for us, so we must be mighty careful not to be seen, Tonto. Maybe we move plenty quick. I think we'll be safe enough here. No. No? Feller come here today. While I was in town? Hmm. Uh. Who was it? Feller from East. Him go to town. How long ago was that? Maybe two hour. It for dark. Then we'd better do as you say and get on the move. Got camp ready. Zeke still insists that we're the ones who set fire to his house. Why him do that? Here, Silver. I can't imagine why he'd do it, Tonto. We saw him at the fire, and he wouldn't accept our help. Mm, that, that's right. There's something mighty strange about the way he acted. Get the blankets rolled. Uh, him crazy? No, he doesn't seem to be crazy. What's more, everyone thinks quite well of him. He's been mighty good to the girl he adopted when Indians killed her parents. Mm, yeah. Now we ready to move. Your horse. Here, white feller. Him all ready to travel. How did the stranger find the camp? Him lost in woods. Oh, came here by accident, huh? Mm, that right. Him from east. Yes, so you said. Him no girl. Nancy Randall? Mm, that, that right. What was his name? Him name Grant. Grant? Huh? Did you tell him about the fire? Uh-huh. Him plenty much surprised. Yep. Steady there, silver old boy. Him ask if girl alive. What did you tell him? Tell him girl in town when fire come. Well, we're going to find out more about this man named Grant. He may be the key to the situation. Come on, Tonto. hi The curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. You will recall that in the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama... Zeke Salters not only refused the aid of the masked man and Tonto when his home was burning, but later accused them of having set fire to the building. The Lone Ranger remained in the district to learn the reason for Salters' action. And during the course of his investigation, he discovered that a man from the east was somehow involved in the strange affair. Our next scene opens in the Stevens' home. Mrs. Stevens, her son Dick, and Nancy are present. Uncle Zeke is hard to understand sometimes, but he's really awful good, Dick. Maybe it's according to how you look at it. Now, Dick, 
The only reason Zeke won't let Nancy have a lot of company is because he don't want her to marry till she comes into her own money. Maybe so, but just the same... I'll I'm... admit, son, Zeke is mighty curious at times, but all the same... All the same, I don't know what I'd have done if it hadn't been for him. He's been just like a father to me. Well, he could well afford to be. Ain't he had the handling of all the money you'll come into? Well, that don't mean anything, Dick. Taint his money. I can't see why Zeke wouldn't come here and stay till he got his new house built. My sakes, we got more room here than we can use. I suppose he wanted to be closer to the new house he's building. Likely. Well, as for me, I'm glad he ain't here. This is the first chance I ever had to really talk with you, Nancy. Dick, you might be better off hunting them two that fired Zeke's house. We have hunted more. Gosh, we just about scarred the whole neighborhood for miles in all directions. I wonder what they'd do such a thing for. You know, Nancy, it's my notion that they come intending to abduct you. Oh, Dick, you don't think that. Yes, sirree. That's the sheriff's notion as well as mine. And Nancy not being there, they were so hopping mad, they set the house afire. Yep. And maybe Zeke had some inkling of that and sent you to spend some time with Maul. Wonder who that be. I'll go see. Who is it? It's me, Dick. Zeke's phone is. Come on in. Uncle Zeke, I'm glad to see yes, you. Yes, yes, have any strangers been around here? Well, no. Not around here, Zeke. Well, you ain't seen nothing of no strangers? Not a thing. Why? What's the matter, Zeke? You look all head up. I am. What's the trouble? Trouble aplenty. See here, Nancy. If anyone, I don't care who it is, comes here, don't let them see you. But why? Them's my orders. Dick, well, listen to me. I'm a listening. Go ahead, Zeke. You claim to care something about Nancy. I do. All right, then. You pay strict heed to what I tell you. If anyone comes here that you don't know, pull a gun on him and keep him away. Is there a scheme underway to abduct Nancy? Maybe so. Yeah, that's it. I reckon there must be. <coughs> Who's that? That's Lemma calling to you. He's riding down here mighty fast, too. Dick, Dick. Hey, Deputy, you want in town? Who, me? Here, come fast. Come on the run. We got the masked man. You have? Yes, the sheriff and four other men's holding him and the engine at the point of a gun down in town. Then you got the one that set fire to our house. Good. Good work, Lim. I'll be right with you. Where's my gun belt? I don't know where you leave your things, son. Oh, here it is. You don't need no horse, Dick. Just down the road a piece. I won't take no time to get a horse. Well, I want to see the face of that masked man. You'll see it. The sheriff's got him and the engine both hogtied. Let me go. You stay right where you are, Nancy. But I will You stay right here. Keep an eye on her, Mrs. Stevens. I will, Zeke. Hurry, Dick. Hurry. Well, I'm ready. Come on, Zeke. Come on, Lem. Let's get trapped. Come on, Lem. been waiting for you to identify him, Zeke. Well, I'll do that right now. Can you do it, Zeke? Well, I should say I can. Got him in a room right upstairs in the hotel here. Up these stairs, Zeke. Uh, you got him tied? I should say we have. He got loose then, eh? Not a chance. Did you take his mask off? Not yet. We want Zeke to see him with the mask on. That's the way you seen him at the fire, ain't it, Zeke? Yeah, he had his mask on when I seen him there. All right, then. You better look at him with the mask on. Then we'll take it off and see just who the critter is. Uh-huh. Uh, here's the room. He come into town as big as life, disguised like an Easterner. <laughs> but we was wise to what he was doing. He's seen the engine going up to his room. Open the door. Here's the sheriff now. Oh, you make a heap big mistake. I don't reckon we made no mistake, engine. Take a look, Zeke. Is that the man? That's him. That's him. That's the engine, too. I'm not the man you want. You've made a mistake. Take his mask off. I'll do that, Sheriff. There. You've made a mistake, men. I tell you, I'm not the man you want. I'm not an outlaw. I didn't set fire to anyone's house. Who are you? My name is Grant. I never saw this Indian before in my life. Tell that to the judge. It's true. I came here and registered in the hotel. I took this... Yeah, room. you figured you could slip in here without that mask and nobody would recognize you, huh? I didn't know a thing about the fire until you told me about it tonight, Sheriff. Then what was the engine sneaking up the stairs into your room for? I don't know. He came into my room, held a gun on me, and made me put on this mask and hat. Then you men burst in. Did you do that, engine? Mm, that don't mean nothing. Hold these two men here, Sheriff. Uh, put him in jail. Then it'd be better. Put him in jail until we hang him. I set fire to my house. I take it your name is Salters. That's my name, all right. Zeke Salters. 
What's it to you? My name is Grant, and I'm here from the law firm of Grant and Simmons in St. Louis. Does that mean anything to you? Not a doggone thing. You got anything more to say, Grant? I'll save what I have until my trial. I suppose I'll have a trial. You'll get a trial, all right. Every man gets a trial before he gets hung. But remember this, Grant, or whatever your name is. Out here we hang men for firing a man's house and home. You savvy? I'll say no more until my trial. The sheriff arrested Tonto and the Easterner and took them to jail. But in the meantime, the Lone Ranger rode swiftly to the Stevens place. There he dismounted and entered the building without warning. My sakes alive. Please, Mrs. Stevens, don't be alarmed. The masked man. What are you doing? Nancy, I want to speak to you. Please listen to me. How'd you get away? They had you tied. No, there was another man who was tied. A man named Grant who came here from St. Louis. What do you want? You set fire to our house. You're wrong, Nancy. Everyone believes that. That's why no one will follow through to learn the true story. What do you mean? Your uncle set fire to his own house. That's not true. Tonto and I were there. We tried to help him save some of the things in the house, but he didn't want us to. There was something in there he wanted destroyed. No, no, you can't come here and hint such things about Zeke Salters. Tonto will be in jail with Mr. Grant. I want him to learn just why Grant came here. Meanwhile, I want to know what was in that house. Well, everything we owned. You have a lot of money in your own name, haven't you? Yes. Would Zeke take that money? He couldn't. He has to give it all over to me with an accountant as soon as I'm of age. When will that be? Next week. As soon as that? Yes. That's something to know. Look here, mister. You can't get away with this sort of high-handed proceeding. You can't come here masked and ask a lot of questions. Zeke Stevens will be coming back soon, and you better not be here when he comes. Listen carefully, Nancy. I did save something from that house in spite of your uncle. What was it? I'll tell you after you've come of age. We'll see just what Zeke is planning. There's the man coming back. Good. Now this man will get caught. Now you're trapped. You can't get your horse. The men have come. I'm leaving by the rear door. We'll meet again, Nancy. Hey, who's that man? What's he doing here? He went the back way. Hey, Stop, him. Him. Stop him. Stop him. Stop him. Horse. Him. Hey. Cover him. Don't let him get that horse. Stop him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. The appearance of the masked man created new excitement in town, and for several days, posses searched the countryside for the Lone Ranger. But when the day set for the trial arrived, the mystery rider was still missing. We see Zeke Salters, Mrs. Stevens, Dick, and Nancy approaching the courthouse together. There's old Zeke. Hi, Zeke. Shut up here in front. All right. Let's get this trial underway. I reckon we can all sit here together, can't we, Zeke? Sure. Set yourself down, Widow Stevens. I aim to. Reckon it won't take long to get rid of them two prisoners. But, Zeke, if that masked man that come to our place the other night fired your house, then the one that's in jail, Mr. Grant, he can't be the man. Grant's with the engine, ain't he? Sure. All right. There must have been another man come scare Nancy and her mom. Zeke, there's something I want to ask. Now, next week, Nancy comes of age, no, and I... No, she don't. What? She don't come of age for another year yet. Well, Uncle Zeke, I always thought I was to come of age. I ain't said nothing, Nancy, when you've been talking of your age. But you're a whole year off. Order in this court. (laughs) Now we'll get the truth. Quiet there, Zeke. We come together here, figuring to try a couple of men for the burning of Zeke Salter's home. Things have come up, though, that call for something other than a trial. There's things to be cleaned up first. Bring in Mr. Grant. Take the stand. Never mind swearing him in. What sort of trial is this? Tell your story, Mr. Grant. I'm from St. Louis, representing my firm, Grant and Simmons. Uh, Some time ago, Zeke Salters adopted Nancy Randall, and he was in charge of the estate left by her father. Sure I was. We wrote him several times as the attorneys who prepared James Randall's will. 
Salters finally replied, uh, refusing to give us satisfactory accounting of the estate. Ain't none of your business. That's all for now, Grant. Zeke. Did you write Grant and say that Nancy wouldn't come of age for another year? I did, and it's true. All right. Now, you can't be called on to give an accountant till she comes of age, can you? No. You know blame well I can't. That's all for now. Miss Nancy, you stand up. Uh, uh, me? Yeah. I want to ask you something. Is there any way that you could prove your age? Well, only, uh, only Zeke Soller's word, that's all. I always thought I'd come of age next week. Hmm. Did you ever read your mother's diary? I never saw it. No? Never was such a thing, as far as I know. Did you ever see your mother's Bible that was said to have been with her things when you was found? No, I never saw it. They was in your house, Zeke, wasn't they? No. That's curious. I thought they was. They've been half burned by fire. And I've got them here, and they prove Nancy Randall's age. They can't be here. They was burned up. What's that? You're trying to frame me. Hold on. Nobody's trying to frame you. If you have been honest, you can account for Nancy's cash right now, just as well as you can a year from now. If you ain't been honest, then it's pretty good proof that you set the fire to destroy things that John Grant knowed existed. Grant set the fire. Your own words betray you, Zeke. We'll check Nancy Randall's property and see what you've been doing with it. All right. All right. I'll admit I lost some of it. Maybe you think I stole it. But you won't get me to stand trial. I got him. I got him. Hold him, Dick. That's it. Looks like we're going to put a different man on trial. Maybe Nancy will be generous with you, Zeke, but by dawn it's going to be up to her. I don't want him punished. You? All I want is, is to run my own affairs from now on. All right. You'll be of age next week. Thanks to the man that saved a few things from the fire in spite of Zeke Salter. <laughs> you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.